Hey guys, what is up? It is Friday. It's actually about mm, six o'clock. Natalie's actually, she's doing naughty things because she's waiting for me to feed her. Um, I got a really big package today. I don't know if you can see the big giant box that's out there. Um, I ordered um, a new table and two chairs from World Market. The table's been here for a week, but the chairs just arrived today in said giant box. I love my tables and chairs. However, I think they're white right now, and I ordered white for a reason, because I think what I'm going to do is spray paint them. Um, I was thinking about, I don't know. I might spray paint them black, but then at the same time, like, my couch that's right here, right there, <laughs> is like a deeper brown color. So do I want to spray paint those brown? I don't know. Or maybe there's like a, I don't know. Give me some suggestions. I don't really want bright colors, if that makes any sense. Um, you know me. Dark and, and doomy, and that's what I like. Um, also, Oreo was around today, and success, I was able to give Oreo some flea medication. Um, that way I know he's protected now. I don't... What worries me is that Oreo is a very nice cat. Very nice. Sweetheart. He will let you pet him. Um, which is really strange for outdoor cats. You know what I mean? Like, outdoor cats usually will not let you do that. Um, but Oreo came around today and his nose was all, like, scabbed up and... I don't know if maybe he got into a fight with another cat or or whatever. Oh my god, it broke my heart. So I'm like, what what do I do? And Don's not home, so maybe I'll talk to him. Like, part of me is saying like, take him to the vet, get him checked out. But the other part of me is like, well, he's an outdoor cat. Maybe he was just. Oh, here he is. Hold on, hold on. Never mind. He went too fast. <laughs> he he hangs out in this yard a lot. And I think he'll hang out even more because I may or may not have given him some treats. Because I'm a cat mom and I like to care for all the kitties. Um, but yeah, I don't... Part of me is saying, take him to the vet. But then the other part of me is like... Maybe he was just rubbing his nose on a tree, or he was, I don't, who knows? You know what I mean? But I at least got him from some flea medication, so he's protected from fleas, thank goodness. I just, I don't know, he's such, he's the sweetest cat. He really is a sweetheart. I keep looking in the backyard because he's, he's been around a lot today. What, Nat? What? What? Say enough of this Oreo. I'm the only kitty around here. Right? I'm the only cat. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Yes, hi everyone. Mwah, that's right. You are the queen. So, yeah. I don't know. The Oreo saga continues. But he's such a sweetheart. Oh my god. I sit on my little couch and I was giving him treats. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, there's a reason why I turned this on and I didn't even talk about it. Wow, this is me rambling. Uh, today, I went after work to the grocery store and I got things for Don's surprise party tomorrow. Tomorrow is his surprise party. Um, <laughs> yeah. I brought everything to, um, 
Don's cousin's house. Um, so him and his fiance are gonna bring um, like the hamburgers and hot dogs. I bought it all, but I didn't want to like put it in the house, and then Don would get he would be like, "Okay, I know what's going on." Like I literally have been like, "You're just gonna pack a cooler full of beer." You're going to get in the car and you're just going to deal with whatever happens. So I feel like having hamburgs here and um, anything else would have given that away. I do, however, also have to make a cheese ball dip for tomorrow. So he might, he might start to recognize what's going on. Hmm. This is what I am making for dinner tonight. It's bavette steak and sherry shallot sauce with garlic parmesan potato clusters and mixed greens. Um, this was a special one. There's ones on HelloFresh that you can get that are like a more expensive cut of meat, like a bavette steak. What is that? It's, it's this thing. Whatever that is. So... I know there's things like you can get lobster, you can get like, I think there's like some special shrimp ones, but obviously I can't eat seafood, so we have bavette steak. So this is the special start of my birthday weekend celebration meal, and I'm so excited to eat this. Hey guys, what is going on? It is Monday, June 15th. It is the day after my 35th birthday. Now. Nah. Natalie, say hi. You gonna say hi? No, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's the day after my 35th birthday. It was a very good birthday, indeed. Um, I did work all day, which is fine. My boss made it incredibly awesome. Um, her husband actually came in and made me danishes. I'll put a picture here. Um, he is from Denmark. And uh, I guess guys in Denmark just learn to bake. And he literally makes these things from scratch. They're freaking beautiful. They're delicious. Not to mention, too, he totally changed up his whole recipe so that they were dairy-free. So I could eat them. So good. Above and beyond, um, I'm so lucky to have the boss that I'm having. And she literally, the, like all customers that came in, she's like, hey, it's Chelsea's birthday. <laughs> it was insane. Um, also, we have a new plant here. Um, this is an orchid I'm going to try not to kill. Uh, my good friend Kalina gave me this orchid. I put in the tag, not a weed. Hopefully I don't kill it. I'm doing really good with the cactus. I'll show you guys the cactus in just a moment, but so far, so good with the cactus. Um, yeah. Yeah. Then we had that party on Saturday night for Don. That was a lot of fun. It was just a good weekend. And, you know back to reality this week of working, watching the kids on Tuesdays, so tomorrow, and then teaching still. So for dinner tonight, I am making this sweet, what is it, sweet and smoky pork tenderloin with apple carrot slaw, mashed potatoes, and cherry sauce. Da -da -da -da. This is going to be freaking delicious. Why is there this too much light? Hold on, I'm gonna put it down and show you, show it that way. So this is what I'm making, sweet and smoky pork tenderloin. And that slaw looks like it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited about it. Yum, and it doesn't look like it's too hard to make. Excellent. Yay. I went a whole weekend with not making HelloFresh meals, so I'm really stoked and excited about making this one. Also, update on the cactus. 
has this really weird, I don't know, they like look like it's gonna flower. And then, I don't know, there's like a little one here too. But I'm thinking this is a good sign. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about this cactus. Like literally, my neighbor was just like, here you go, here's a cactus. Okay. So to me, this looks like a good sign. Like it's not going to, it's not going to die.